Greetings fellow human beings. Despite the announcement I made months ago at the end of the 0.7.0 video that prehistoric rift is no longer for bedrock and has moved to Java, there's still people who are unaware. So I'm going to replay the original announcement clip. Prehistoric rift is moving to Java edition. Yeah, it's been a while ever since I've had some voiceover related stuff and I figured that this update will be the last one for the bedrock edition as Moving forward, the island will become a mod for Java edition, specifically for 1.12.2. And why? Well, I don't want to do any more version chasing so that I can focus more on adding more new content. And um, I'm also getting fed up with the, how slow the updates to the Bedrock API are getting, as we're still missing things like custom dimensions and fixed and fix custom biomes and true custom UI and containers, and finally, all these limitations in in the Bedrock API are preventing the add-on from going to its literal full potential as I've planned. So yeah, hence the move. Now, now all the stuff from the Bedrock versions like the guns and the illager changes, I mean, 1.12.2 doesn't have a lot of, doesn't even have pillagers to begin with, and the furniture will be ported over as I will have um, separate backport mods that are either going to be made by me or commissioned from other modders or already existing like Future MC and subaquatic and uh, oceanic oceanic expanse and that one um, another backport mod that I'm currently waiting on at the moment it's as far as and I'm getting information about on Discord so far and there's also the fact that there's like other mods from 1.0.2 that can take care of some of the other features that I've already implemented like um, you know the furniture and the guns oh and not only that but once a good amount of content from the original add-on gets ported over, and when we also get enough new content, I'll be making a mod pack focus around the mod, and besides Prehistoric Rift itself, we'll ha and a bunch of other, you know, mandatory thing mods that every single mod pack should have, like, you know, JI and performance for boosting mods, as well as some, um, uh, you know, those health indicator mods, and um, here's what you're looking at, and Zero's minimap, and, you know, all those other ROMs. Mm, you know, just general slice of life mods that can help out. And not only that, we're also going to have um, all those aforementioned backport mods and Mr. Crayfish's furniture, Mr. Crayfish's guns, better with mods, immersive engineering, recurrent complex, pyrotech, and even some new dimensions like the Beneath, the Aether, and the Midnight, and tons more mods. Like, yeah, quite a lot planned so far. Other than that, I'd like to thank every single one of you for playing with the add-on, and from here on out, we'll be going off on a brand new chapter in this add-ons, or, or now this mod's history. Thank y'all for watching, and uh, goodbye for now. And there you go. That means the Bedrock version will never receive any more updates and I will no longer offer technical support for that version. Any new content updates that will come out for Prehistoric Rift or Borgais mobs if I have interest in it again will only be for the Java edition. That's all and goodbye.